as good as it gets in National League speed race. Good evening everybody, uh, welcome to what is a beautiful sunny Smallbrook Stadium. The sun is always shining here, or oh, it's raining, no, no, in, no in between. Anyway, it's a beautiful day, as you can see the pits is becoming alive now. Everybody's getting ready for the Warriors against the Kent Kings, and also some uh, uh, MSDL action as well afterwards with uh, the Wizards taking on the Weymouth Wildcats. So, apparently everybody's had a great time on the ferry today with Mr Johnson. Uh, who confirmed himself as a Speedway fan. So I just want to show you some of the challenges that we've had today because it's actually really windy. Um, uh, it's really windy and uh, that's so loud, that announcer. Um, and with the wind, of course, it dries the track. Throw into the mix 30 degrees of sunshine and um, uh, keeping the track wet all the time is a tricky job. So we're constantly out on the track. Uh, the big chief is out there at the moment, I think, going round. We'll see if we can see him when he comes back round. But it really, really just drives so quick. And that's one of the problems that all speedway tracks face, actually. Not just uh, the Warriors, um, even though we do have the biggest tracks, so it's a little bit harder to keep it wet all of the time. So, should we go speak to some of the mascots? Who should we get this week? Who should we have on this? Annie May, Annie May, come here. Come here, Annie May. So, Annie May is one of our young lady my first skidders let me come down so i can talk to you so you go to my first skid regularly don't you do you like it yeah what do you like the most about it mm, riding what about the riding mm. tell me <laughs> what's your favorite thing going fast and everything isn't it yeah because yeah. you were the rider of the month last month or the month before weren't you yeah yeah and do all your school friends know that you ride uh most of them and what do they think yeah, first you didn't believe me. They don't believe you, oh my goodness. First, Look at this evidence. First you didn't believe me, but then I brought some photos, then they believed me. Did you? Well done. Well, we're very proud of you. Give me the warrior handshake. Good girl, let's go. Let's see who else we got. Who else can we interview? Anastasia. Let's send to be Anastasia. Well, she's looking graceful, sorry. Hello there, how are you doing? All right? Good, thank you. Yeah, you enjoying being the mascot on my first skid, yeah, improving yeah. all the time? Thank you, yes, I really am. Yeah, because you've got your licence now, haven't you? Yep, definitely. So, so now we've got yeah. some races, some races now. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's, that's coming soon, but I can't tell you too, too much about that, but it's good. Anyway, have a great night tonight. Thank you. And you're also Morgan's mechanic as well. Yep. So busy lady, busy, even more busy than I am. Busy, busy, busy. So let's go. Let's go out, see how else we can say hello to. Who else we got here? Let's say hello to a wizard. Chris Watts, wizard. Ready for tonight, mate? Yeah, always ready, Barry, yeah. Look I heard you've got to get another maximum. I'd like to get another maximum, yeah, yeah that'd be unreal. They think they're going on holiday if they get a maximum. I've got news for you. <laughs> 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 All right, mate, well, have a good one. Take care. Let's keep going. Let's get house. Who else have we got here? Let's go and have a chat. See who we can find. Are you all right at this speed, Andy? I don't want to... I don't want to... Uh, In the, uh, as we like the BBC, Jason Edwards, come here. Jason Edwards, you're guesting tonight for the Kings, aren't you? Yeah, tonight with Kent, should be all right. So. Yeah, happy with that? What? Oh, it's yeah. just good to get some uh, extra meetings, really. And then it's the start of a busy old weekend for me, so. Busy weekend. You're always riding every time I see you. Well, that's the plan, isn't it? It's what we try and do, and we're here. We only get six months to do it, so we might as well make the most of it. Yeah, well, I don't know if you actually know, race fans, but 
Jason is part of the nice meeting. Yeah, that, yeah that? that should be a good old meeting on the two valves. Obviously, I don't think any of us have probably ridden two valves before. And then practice will be pretty important. So yeah, it should, that looks like a really good meeting with Steve Worrell in it. So if you're coming along, make sure you get to the Isle of Wight for the two valve meeting. Yeah, and we've got some more announcements that will come tomorrow, actually. Some more exciting riders that are coming part of it. So you can have your work cut out. Anyway, thanks, man. Have a great night tonight. Cheers. Let's keep going. Oh, they're all pouring in now. Look, the fans. Oh, oh, we won't, we won't interview Jackie. She goes all oh, spit. But, oh, look at the legs. Look at the legs. Turn around. Seeing that look. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful. Anyway, let's go and see what this week's. You're concentrating too long on the legs there, Andy Hayde. Let's go concentrate on there. Or oh, what we've got in the, in the, oh, John Carpenter, meeting sponsor. Let's do it. How you doing, mate? Very good, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Just like I say, John has been with us from the start. He's been, every year he's been a sponsor of the club. But he lives miles away, comes here irregularly, and we're very, very, very thankful for it. How's it going this year? Yeah, excellent. As busy as ever been. Good. Yeah, wheels, steel, shoes, bikes. Three bikes last week. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, so I have to increase your sponsorship for next year. <laughs> <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Have a good night. So, we always do our, uh, our roving reporter at the retreat. So, we we'll just go and say hello to the retreat. Because this week's um, uh, Tucker Challenge is actually a, uh, a locust. So, Andy Hayes looking at me because I know he feeds them to his, uh, to his uh, insects. And here we've got Halifax, uh, his locust. We've got Halifax Tiger who said he would do this week's Tucker Challenge. But no filming. We're not filming. Come on, man. We're not filming. It's on the radio. It's on the radio. Where it pass it passes the Tucker Challenge down. So this week's Tucker Challenge is locust. Locust. Very easy to eat. Hold the bottom. It. Very easy to eat. There's no bones in it. No, you. There we go. Tasty. They're quite dry, aren't they? Like eating a what's it? Eating white bait. Yeah, white bait. There you go. There you go, so that's what they are. That's this week's uh, Tucker Trial. You can also have bamboo, sh bamboo worms, or there's dried garami. Well, I get the tea now. You get the tea now, and if you have three of them, you have a free cup of tea. Oh, he's really eating them. There you go, he hasn't been fed for a week. He's got a huge tongue as well that flies out. I always like to thank our retreat staff, they always do a great job. We'll have a quick look around the uh, track shop so you can see what other goodies we got in there. Uh, let's have a little look in here. Hello, young man. How are you? Give me a handshake, brother. So here's a lovely track shop. All sorts of things in here. Uh, ready for you to buy. We're all going green with our metal things as well. Hedgehog stuff. Um, and everything else. So uh, let's go say hello to some kings. We quickly say hello to some king fans and then we're done. Let's go say hello to the kings because the king's always there. I don't know how much music you can hear as it's going around. Bit of the old uh, Spin Me Right Round. I have no idea who sung that. Who sung that, Andy Haig? You uh, Spin Me Right Round. Uh, Wasn't that uh, Clarence or whatever his name is? Dead or Alive. Yeah. Dead or Alive, was it? Dead Thanks very much. First record Ian Groves ever bought. Let's say hello to the Kent Posse. How are we doing, everybody? All right? How are you yeah, very good. We're not live, we're recording it, but it's going to go straight after us. How was your trip over today? Uh, interesting. Oh, yes, yeah. we had some celebrities aboard. Apart from yourself, what wasn't? <laughs> Mr. Johnson, wasn't it? Mr. Johnson, yes. Somebody got a selfie with him. Yeah, I saw that. He did the Warrior W, I think, didn't he? So sorry. <laughs> did the Warrior W. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good to see you again. Thanks Thank for coming you. down, man. Appreciate it. Always Prediction for tonight? Oh, I don't know. I don't like asking we're good, predictions because well, you're normally right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna definitely come away with a bonus point, and hopefully two. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see. I'll be back later. <laughs> anyway, so that's our introduction yeah, for tonight. Did back, <laughs> I did come back. I came at Kent to see you. Uh, that's our introduction for tonight. If you're going to come down, the weather's beautiful, lots of sunshine, and you're going to have a great time. Okay? Before tonight's meeting, we're joined by Connor King in the uh, pits area tonight. Connor, back onto the island, another meeting. Kent Kings are back. Looking forward to it. Yeah, definitely. Um, they've got their weaknesses, like... Um, They've not got Alex Spooner or Jordan Jenkins, but as you say, they've brought in um, Jason Edwards, so that's a good replacement for um, Jordan Jenkins. 
Now, have you had a look at the number six and seven that you're going to be going up against tonight? Obviously, they haven't got Nathan Ablett, Dan Jilks, who are in their initial lineup. Hopefully, being on your home shell, gaining confidence on this track, so you should be able to bag some points tonight. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely a boost, uh, considering they haven't got um, Ablett and Jilks, so that is a little bit easier for me and um, Chad, so hopefully we can get a 5-1 and heat two and carry on beating them throughout, throughout the night. We hope you do because we got a GoPro on the back of your bike tonight, so uh, we want to get you fast starting out there. You can get some really nice shots. Now, we're just going to go back a week or so or we'll go back to Plymouth away meeting there. You got quite a few points in there. How did you find that meeting went for you? Um, yeah, the meeting was really good and until the Heat 14 because um, I fit, I got excluded in my last one because I would have said um, first Ben Bunchen, but the referee had different opinions, so it pretty much gives um, Plymouth the win, but um, I think if if I was in the, back in the rerun, I think we would have got a point or at least a win, so a bit disappointing at the end of the night, but it started off really good and ended not as good as we was hoping. It says something when you're disappointed, yet you walk away with a hat full of points. You're getting confident yeah. on the bike and you're really getting into your stride, so you're enjoying being a warrior this year and having a National League side, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Um, I love being here, to be honest. Um, coming over it's like being on holiday you have to get on the boat and everything so yeah every Thursday it's real good to um, wake up knowing that you're coming back over here and um, winning races. Well for a couple of hours on a Thursday night or the odd Tuesday the holiday stops it becomes business seven o'clock tonight tapes up um, have a safe night ride fast get some nice footage out there get some points let's get a win yeah yeah definitely. In the pits, we've got Jacob Clouton with us here. Jacob, welcome back to the island. You were here three, four weeks ago with the Kent Kings, and so you gained much track knowledge on that night. You looking forward to getting out there? Yeah, definitely. The track looks a bit smoother tonight. Uh, obviously, my first time here didn't go really to plan, struggled, and uh, I think I only picked up a point, so hopefully get a few more tonight, have a better result. How are you finding being uh, stepping into the Kent Kings team and being in the National League at the moment? Because you've had a couple of meetings now. Uh, you enjoying it? Yeah, definitely. I'm enjoying it this year and um, it's just all experience really as I didn't get much in last year because I broke my foot so the year comes to an early end and it's just good to get out there and get more experience. Now we've seen your pitch, you've got your dad with you, he's got a lot, a lot of experience <laughs> in riding. I bet everybody asks you that but yeah. uh, what is it like your relationship with your dad from a <laughs> working perspective? Um, do you get on well in the pits uh, or is it like many other father and sons that at, at times it's difficult to communicate? It's definitely difficult at times obviously because he's been there and he's done it before so he's just trying to get me to that next step and just getting better and it is definitely difficult but I wouldn't have it any other way and I, I enjoy having him with me. So it's either karaoke time on the way home in the van or deadly silence? Yeah, yeah that's it pretty much. Yeah. And does he give you like lots of tips on your riding style as well um, when you come in? Can he hear the bike as it's going around the corners? Can he pick up on those things? It's, it must be really uh, good for you to have him in your corner for those things as well, the technical spec. Yeah, definitely. Like All the technical stuff, he, he, he notices a lot of things that I do wrong and the things that I do good as well. So we try to work on both of them to improve all of them. So. It's definitely a big help. That's a really, really hot day here on the island. Uh, yeah. Does that sort of make you change what you're going to do on the bike at all? Have you got to do anything specific because it's so hot? Uh, we'll, we'll see how it is later on. Obviously, we've still got a couple of hours to go, but we, we'll change that up a little bit before the race. So, yeah. Just enjoy it, hey? Yeah. Not too much, though. We're <laughs> a little bit biased here on the island. We say it every week, yeah. but uh, we just want to have some great speedway out there and uh, see some great racing. So stay yep. safe. Cheers. Drive fast and uh, have a good night, yeah? Yep. Cheers. Jackie Vatcher, great big smile back on the island. Always. Sun is shining. Big meeting tonight. We yeah. need the points. Definitely. Um, yeah, we did it last time. We've just got to do the same again. Um, we just got hope at the moment. We're just waiting for Chris to turn up. Um, he's had problems with his car this morning, so we're just waiting for him. Hopefully he's on the five o'clock ferry. So yeah, we're all systems go. They're all up for it and it's all good. Now looking at the team that come over from Kent today, obviously there's quite a lot of changes in that team. You know, Jordan Jenkins having a, a crash the other night, so they brought in Jason Edwards, who knows this track well. So do you think that's going to unsettle them, having different riders coming in? Um, not necessarily. I think the riders that they've got coming in are really good anyway. They, they ride this track really well. Um, and I just think it's going to be that it's going to be so close all the way. It's going to be like it was last time, but just hopefully we're just going to just beat them, even if it's just by two. <laughs> We've had a wander down, up and down, and people are saying it's going to be a fantastic match. It really hasn't got uh, has got that pedigree to to have a great match behind it tonight, as it was the last time they were here. 
uh, 48-42, I believe, something like that. It was a great result for us. In general, happy with the team, the way that the uh, the Warriors have, have done so far this season, the way that they're working together? Yeah, I think they've been working really well together, especially like with the away, um, when Kev, Kevin goes down to Plymouth. They should have won that. Um, and I've, you know, it's so frustrating sometimes for for them. Um, but yeah, I think they've done really well. I think they've because they've had a couple of close meetings over a draw, and um, you know, so I think yeah, I think they're doing really well. And yourself as team manager now, you're uh, you've been doing it now. What's this third season? This yeah, third season. So, uh, your goals maybe? Uh, oh, taking over they're the always British high. Youth? They're always high. Maybe taking over the British, British youth. Oh in the yeah, future? right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Neil's job. I we do it together. We love that. I love doing that with him because we see them all come through. We've seen them from when they're eight, then when they're 15. It's just lovely to see them all coming through now. And that's what it's all about. And there's a great, great, great crop of youngsters that are coming oh, through brilliant. at all the different levels. It's really now what, what you guys have kind of been working on. Now it's steady right the way through and they, they are producing. Yeah, 100%. Also, the ones that are actually like are coming through are even better than you expected them to be. They're, they're, well, they've exceeded our expectations of them 100%. They're going to our own youth here in the Warriors camp here, Chad, Chad. Wurtsfield. Yeah. And Connor as well. Connor's when Connor doing... comes to the island at the beginning of the season, he was kind of a bit unknown here. But he's really getting in amongst it as well and, and producing the goods. Connor is so laid back, he's nearly asleep. Um, but he's he's brilliant. He's up for it. He lists the bit the best bit about him, he listens to the older ones and that is what they need to do. The youngsters must listen to the older ones because they will help them through. If they don't listen, they won't help them. But because he listens, they love him. And he's he's got some sort of little special talent on he's quite he's very comical. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see you there. Thanks for your time, Jackie. Let's have a great night racing out there and yeah, let's definitely. get a Warriors win tonight. And uh, I think we deserve 100%. it. 100%. Definitely. I agree. Okay, just before the meeting tonight, then just come off the track walk with the uh, the guys. What do you think, Chris? Um, well, I think I'd be, I'd, be, uh, I'd be happy if we had a, not an injury ravaged team, but um, you know, we've just got to do the best we can. Well, you've led me into my second uh, question there. The team's not the one that you started the season with, a lot of injuries and so on, so uh, just run us through the changes that you've had to make in the last couple of weeks. Ah, well, we are um, started off with uh, Nathan on uh, Sunday at Swindon, um, so uh, that's him out now for well, most of this month, really, um, with concussion. Uh, and then on uh, Monday night we lost uh, Jordan, and uh, Alex aggravated his shoulder, which he's been struggling with as well. So, uh, and with Dan Jilks missing long term, you know we're uh, we're uh, trying to do the best we can to get a couple of teams together. Really. Now we see a smiley face in the uh, pits tonight. You brought in uh, Jason Edwards to cover for Jordan, so he knows his way around this track well, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's right. You know, we um, we made so many phone calls this week, and uh, luckily Jason um, answered my my prayers. So. Um, you know, we know he goes well around here, so we just uh, just hope tonight he can carry on scoring the points around here. That's it. Okay, we had a word with uh, Jacob earlier on as well. He's uh, really looking forward to getting out there, and hopefully you're doing a little bit better, he says, than, than the last time he was here. But it's all a learning curve. Yeah, that's it. You know, um, he's Jacob's learning, and uh, he's, he's coming on slowly but surely. And uh, you know, last time he came here, he'd never seen the place before. Didn't know what to expect. So at least tonight, he, you know, he's got some idea of uh, of how to ride it. All right. Well, we know you're a busy man. We're going to let you go. Thanks ever so much. Have a good night. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks a lot, mate. Okay, we're with Ben then, just coming off the uh, track walk here. Stood on uh, Ben Four. What do you think of the track? What's it looking like? Oh, it looks good, mate. To be fair, I mean, it's a proper hot one, so it's it's going to be hard to keep a bit of moisture in it. Um, you know, they've had a good water in now, so. Hopefully, uh, you know, as you can see, it's drying out already. So, yeah, it's, it's uh, still we should be good though. We're all ready to go and uh, bounce back from the other week. Now, over the last few weeks riding the track here, is it? Are you finding it's a lot more smoother now than it used to be? Yeah, it's, it's getting better every time. I mean, it, it was it was the same sort of similar last year where you know it started off a bit rough, and then the more that we did it, we rode on it, it sort of. Uh, got better so yeah hoping it gets even better week in week out 
and yeah, start putting some points on the board. Now your own form, obviously racing in two leagues here and also in the championship with Eastbourne. Are you happy with your form this year so far? Yeah, I feel like I've been been having a, a fairly steady year so far. I'd like to improve. I mean, you always want to improve, even whatever. Even if you have a good one, you still want to do better. So uh, yeah, it's going good so far. I just need to stay consistent and keep you up for the year. All right, well have a good night tonight. Score loads of points, but stay safe. Nice one. Cheers, buddy. There we are in the pits then, Drew, Dano and Drew. On an unfamiliar bike for yourself, you're trying to find out how Dano does it around this track, isn't that right? Uh, that's not quite the case, you know. Trying to give Dano a few tips. So. <laughs> you're looking forward to tonight though? Yeah, it should be a good meeting. Chad's good, uh, the weather is shining, so yeah, should be in for a good meeting. And Dano, what about yourself? Feeling good? Yeah, um, if I carry on doing what I've been doing uh, at home most of the year, then um, I'll be happy at the end of the night. Okay, so you guys are going to be meeting against each other tonight. Heat 5. Heat 5? What happened last time, Heat 5? Dano beat me, I crashed and I so. Right, okay, so Heat 5's the one to watch tonight then. Let's wait and see. Have a safe night, guys. No crashing tonight, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Just in the pits then, we're going to get a fan prediction here. Cameron comes over to the island when the Kenkins are here. Big Ken Kings supporter Cameron, aren't you? Yes, indeed. Since I've opened, I've been going. Track's only half an hour away from me, so nice, easy route, no motorways, hardly any traffic, so easy journey. Good stuff. Right, tonight, you see that you've got a bit of a different team out there tonight. Is that going to be a leveller, or do you think that's going to put you behind? I think we'll still be close. Um, depends how they start, hopefully not as slow as last time maybe, picked up towards the end. I think had we started quicker, it would have been closer, but it's one of those things. Right, okay, what's the score going to be tonight, prediction? I'm going to go out on a limb and go Kent by two. Oh, boo, boo, boo. Right, okay, we'll get that sun out of your eyes, have a good night, yeah? Cheers, mate.
Rob goes one and three, and heat number one for the king. So we are, that's the first piece of uh, official information given to you. Choice in 15 for the Warriors, one and three for the Kings in heat number one. Let's go. Kent King is running at number 70. There was a cat tonight. Left by the unfortunate absence of a Nathan Abbott. But for one night only, he's become a Kent King. It's Jamie Seeley. <laughs> number six, a rider who's getting a regular run in the National League and contributing some valuable points. Jacob Clouty. Five. He's one of the senior statesmen of the National League with a string of double figure scores recently lifted the National Trophy as Skipper of the Kings. Please show your appreciation to Rob Ledwick. <laughs> Lining up at number four and a change in your program. And uh, another terrific group of uh, talented teenagers making their way through the National League ranks this year. He comes in as a guest rider for the Kings tonight is Jason Edwards. Jason Edwards. Number three is a young man on his third visit to the island uh, this year and he's enjoying great success in the National League as well as getting valuable points and outings in the championship for the Somerset Rebels. Please welcome Anders Rowe. <laughs> At number two, the Kings will operate a uh, rider replacement for the uh, injured Alex Spooner. And that moves us on to uh, another of the King's crew of teenage caraways, just been named in the Great Britain Under 21 World Team Cup squad. So it's congratulations it's and best of luck to Drew Camp. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, please, to meet and greet your own Isle of Wight Right Link Warriors. First up at number seven, the young man who shows some encouraging form on his foray into league racing, that's Chad Worthwell. Chad's reserve partner tonight. Sampling a team place in league racing for the first time and certainly living up to his average despite a few visits to the air fence. Say good evening to Connor King. Number five, and uh, he was our top scorer down in Devon last Friday. He does a great job week in, week out as the leader of the pack. It's of course our skipper, Ben Morley. <laughs> Lining up at number four is the pocket rocket that's making himself very much at home on the island. It's been a good season so far for Danny Burge. <laughs> Right at number three is the man who's been invited to ride to Somerset tomorrow in a challenge match at Plymouth. Should prove any problem at all for Ryan Terry Bailey. Right at number two tonight, so Chris Whitman is on his way, so uh, we're just waiting for him to prepare himself. And lastly, he's the fastest warrior on this track this season and a force to be reckoned with when he's in full flow. So stylish at Smallboro Warriors number one, George Ewell.
Well, you get number two for the uh, Wildcats. This is the start of the Paper Motor Martin Peters. And starting to develop through the GB Youth Centre. Can we please welcome Sam Peters. Number three, another young man finding his feet in Speedway with regular rides and development lead. Please say hello to Andrew Palmer. And at four, it's fantastic to be able to see another lady rider on track in serious competition. And tonight, I'm delighted to introduce to you Seska Kirtley Payne. The opposition comes from the Wizards. We've seen uh, Jamie Seaman already in his guise as the MP. So let's look at the number two position. He had a great meeting last week and it's really coming on a bundle. He's island born and bred and apparently pulls a mean kind to him, folks. Of course, Morgan Williams. The number three is looking to follow up his maximum last week up there at Birmingham. He's told me earlier that there's no reason why he can't do it again tonight. Quite right too. Your cheers please for Chris Watts. And at number four, Skipper in the side with his best development league score ever last week. Please welcome Ben Elsley. Do you need anything doing with it? No. At all, from where it is. Nothing pulling back, nothing being mortared, nothing being graded. I'm going to get more rides, so... Is everyone happy? Everyone happy? You happy? Or do you want something else? Right. You're all right? 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 You're all right?